What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, it's going to be bath time for Jolie. Let's get into it. Oh shit. Okay, guys, first things first. For me personally, it's easiest to tie a dog back. Now, a lot of people may not have this option, but if you have a shower where you have like a little handrail like this, that's connected to the wall. For me, it's easiest to take a slip lead Okay, a little slip lead. If you don't know what a slip leash is, it looks like this. Just a little slip leash. You might even find a stopper on it. Okay, so we're going to go up to the pole here. And we're going to bring the handle side through. And then we're going to bring that through. Wait a minute. Wait a tick. How did I do this? I'm actually, you know what? I'm just going to tie it. Let me move the stopper down. I'm just going to tie this sucker. Do like a little a little loop-de-loop -loop like this. And then uh, one more little loop through like this. And you want to just give it enough so that the dog uh, just, you know, the dog's going to try to get out a million times. And you're not going to have to hold the dog. The dog's going to self-correct like 25 times. And a lot of people are like, well, you know, why don't you just like ease them into it? Dude, the dog's never going to really fully enjoy taking a bath if they don't enjoy it. So, hell, you might get lucky and get the dog that actually enjoys getting bathed. Maybe you have one of those dogs. Let me know in the comments if you do. Good for you. Most dogs, some can maybe learn to you know, tolerate it more and then the dog will start, uh, or will stop struggling as much. But if you got a dog that's struggling and trying to get away, every single grooming shop that you take a dog to get groomed, this is what they do. Like, this is what they're going to do. I need to give it a little bit more, I think. Uh, she is tall and everything like that, but... Okay, come here, bud. Let's get this thing going. I like to, you know, my wife doesn't particularly like when I uh, bathe the dogs inside the shower, but it is what it is. She's starting to get a little rash, dude, and I think it's because I haven't bathed her in so long, and I didn't change one of her blankets out, and I just think it's like... I needed to change her blanket sooner and she got some like bacteria tiny little rash and losing hair so i gotta clean her and if it doesn't get any better i'm gonna have to go get like a an ointment or something to like help the little rash it's not ringworm or anything like that i actually don't know what it is come on mama good girl that's big trust right there good girl come on good this isn't our first time doing this, so she knows what it is. Good girl. And maybe, you know, my first time with her, I, I might have coaxed her in with food, you know. Nice little positive, uh, positive experience for her first time. Um, but, uh, yeah, so you're going to see. She's going to, you know, maybe try to get out. And then she, you're going to see. See, she just self-corrects and realizes that, you know, she might try a time or two and she'll surrender and just kind of understand that this is where she's going to be. It's bath time, homie. She doesn't have to like it. You know what I mean? I don't expect her to like it, you know, but maybe after 10, 15 baths, oh, look, we got some conditioner. And for those of you guys wondering what we're using, it's just earth bath. I get this stuff. This is a one stuff, like one product that I get from Petco. I normally don't like shopping at Petco, PetSmart. I normally will go with a stuff called, um, Jackson Daisy, which is a like kind of an all natural shampoo with uh, essential oils as like a fragrance, which I really love about that brand. They used to send me stuff back in the day, um, but they don't anymore. So now I just go down the street and get this stuff. I don't mind it. You know, it's like 15 bucks a bottle for the shampoo and the conditioner. Um, but first things first, the, the vanilla and almond. It's the vanilla and almond kind. I'm just uh, currently letting the water warm up a little bit. And you can see she's already kind of accepting that she's going to be in here. You know what I mean? But if I didn't have this, dude, I'd be having to like physically hold her. And it's just kind of a tiring and an annoying thing to have to do. So let me just go ahead and check the temperature on this water. I don't mind it. So we just start off by getting her wet. Do this number, good girl. I put the, the thing like as close to her skin as I can. You know what I mean? And I just get this girl wet. Oh, she was stinky. You were a stinky girl. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. 
You know, how do you guys think she's doing? Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to leave a like on the video too if you appreciate the content, the consistency. It may not always be what you're looking for, but you can count on me posting something for you guys. Hopefully you get something out of my content. Yeah, see the little rash is here. Daddy don't like, come here. Daddy doesn't like when you have a rash. Okay? We gotta fix that. We gotta make sure her don't have no bacteria on her skin. That's daddy's fault. These dogs with this short, coarse hair, you know, you, it's like they don't start stinking. You know, it doesn't seem like they need a bath because it's just short hair. You know, dogs with longer hair, those are the dogs that you tend to have to bathe more often. Dude, I haven't given Rosie a bath in months. And I know that sounds like a deadbeat dad thing to say. But, I mean, that's the truth of it. It's because it just doesn't seem to get dirty. You know, you're doing a good job, buddy. She's doing a good job, buddy. Yeah. Ah, I know. All right. That should be good. Now we can start applying. And I apply this shampoo very, very uh, excessively. I don't know if that's the word I'm looking for. But I put a shit ton. I'm going to use the rest of this bottle on her. Yeah, because I might not bathe her for another month. <laughs> I'm just being honest with you guys, man. I mean, I don't know how often you guys have to bathe your dogs. Man, she's gone through her second heat recently, and I can just tell my big girl's growing up. My big, my big girl's growing up a little bit. She's maturing. I'm going to get her spayed soon. That could be it. I'm sorry. What's wrong with her ears? Why are her ears so sensitive? We're going to wash them. we got to wash these things. Big old Dumbo ears, bro. She's got them big floppies. She's got those big floppies. My breeder asked me if I wanted them cropped. I'm like, that kind of that kind of goes against my brand, dude. As badass as I think she would look with cropped ears, I just couldn't bring myself to do it. I know, baby. We're giving you a wash. We're giving her a wash. Let me get that chest. Oh, let me get that chest. Yes. She's a big girl. Okay. All right, I think we did a good job up top. I think we did a good enough job up top. Let me see those paws, yes, and my big girl. We got the belly, we got the back, we got the chest and shoulders, she's my big. All right, daddy's back. All right, now I gotta get your butt and your tail, okay? Now I gotta get your butt and your tail, okay, buddy? Come here. Okay. Yes. Give me that butt. Give me your butt and your tail. Give me that tail. Did I not get your... I should have got your butt a little more wet, dude. Okay. I'm about to see the dirt, like, freaking pour off this dog, bro. Give me that back leg. Come here. Oh, it's a girl. Give me that back leg. Give me that tail. I know. I know, pal. We're giving you a bath. See, right there, she would have jumped out. Having her tight back is so convenient. Oh, sorry, pal. Sorry, pal. No, no, no. Come on. Good girl, mama. Get your butt in here. All right, I'm going to kneel down because daddy's back isn't what it used to be. Okay, give her a good rinse. Give her a good rinse. Thank you for watching the content, guys, if you're still here. Probably a super boring video, but it's something. It's something. I always like this part. For some reason, it's always kind of satisfying to, like, to wash the shampoo out of the dog. You know what I mean? I'm just grateful right now. I'm not super busy with my business, so I'm like doing things that I normally don't really do. So there's always a plus side to not being as busy as you'd like to be. You know what I mean? I know, baby. I know. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I could use a little bit more freaking water pressure. This shit is weak, dude. This shit is weak. Did I leave the hose on? 
I know I didn't leave no goddamn hose on outside. All my water's connected to one another. I don't think I did. Did I? No. I don't think so. Good girl, mama. Good girl, baby. Get your ears. Good girl, let me get your ears. Let me get the front paws. Now get your chest. Okay. You're doing a good. Oh, she gets a big smooch from Uncle, from Daddy. I'm uncle to all the rest of the dogs, so I say that a lot. But this is my baby. Her name's Jolie. I got her from a dear friend of mine. I used to own her daddy. And I never really planned to... Oh, I just almost slipped. I never really planned to keep her daddy, but I decided I was going to, and then I changed my mind because he wasn't getting along with another one of the dogs that I had kept at that time. And that other dog that I had kept, that was called King, and he growled at my daughter, and when that happened... That was another dog that I kind of just rescued, if that's what you, if that's the terminology people prefer to use. Somebody was moving and they were going to take him to the shelter and I decided to take him and I was like, I'll find him a new home, but I ended up keeping him and then all of a sudden he growled at my daughter and then that, the next day he was gone to another home. I don't really fuck around with that shit. No dog of mine is ever going to even consider growling at my daughter. So, you know, that's just the way I feel about it. I'm not too concerned with... You know, you're a trainer, Chad. Why didn't you train him? I don't give a fuck. I do not give a shit. There is no comparing my human child to these dogs. I love my dogs. I love my dogs, but do not even for a second compare these dogs to my baby girl. Not even in the same conversation. A lot of people are like, oh, my dogs are my kids. That's fine. That's you. That ain't me. I mean, my dogs are my kids, but comparatively, not like my real kid. Not like my human baby. Nope. That's my opinion. If you got a problem with it, you can fuck all the way off. I do not care. Yeah, this video kind of took a turn, didn't it? And most people probably checked out anyway. Most people don't stick around for this long in the video. Okay, how's this feeling, buddy? You're all clean? Dude, you're gonna be shining, buddy. You are going to be shining, buddy. Huh? Okay. I have tortured you quite enough, my friend. Shake it off. Little trick, blowing that ear. Should shake any second now. Shake it. Shake it. There you go. Shake, shake, shake. Oh, she went for it. Shake it off, bud. Go, go. Come on. Shake it off. Shake it, shake, 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 shake it. Uh-oh. Thanks for watching, guys. Nice clean girl. I'm just going to dry her off now.